The devil is a liar. Keep him in the fire. Oh, my devil, the good news. Amen. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. The devil is a liar. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to use that from now on. The devil is a liar. Keep him in the fire. Amen. Amen. So let us keep on preaching the fire. And let us keep on reading the, the good news, the message. Of God. Amen. Amen. Jesus, yeah. Jesus knows you well. Jesus knows you well. Amen. Jesus knows you well. In his in your heart, he says well. He's got everything secure. Satan's locked up in a cell. Let me repeat that. Jesus knows you well. In his heart, you should dwell. He's got everything secure. Satan's locked up in a cell. Am I right about it? Amen. You got a scripture, my sister? But we always have a scripture to read. I know that's right. Come on with it. Bring that fire, fire, fire. Fire falls on you. On the day of Pentecost, fire falls on you. Go ahead. Where the book fall? The Bible fall. That's you a shame. You can go ahead and read. That's just the evil one. You know, we, we, he doesn't want you to read the word. We don't glorify him. Because he hates the word. We don't glorify him. The book no. of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Pay attention. Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah. See, some people don't receive the calling of God in their life. And you don't have to be a dressed up person for God to call you. you, you most of the, the prophets out there was ordinary persons. They have, right. Yes, ordinary persons. And how old was Jeremiah? Around 8 to 12, yeah. around that time. Even a youngin can come out here and preach the word. Yes. Even a little youngin. Am I right about it? And it, as, as I'm saying, when God called some people to serve, when God called you to serve in the army, you're telling God tomorrow. But when America. Tomorrow. <laughs> but when America. Call you to go in the battlefield and shoot and die there, and your parents will not see you. You answer the, the call. But today I'm telling you, the greatest call of your life is in Christ Jesus. God called you to kingdom assignment. God calls every one of you out here, the rich man and the poor man. The strong and the weak. God calls all the white and the black. Yeah. The green and the purple. Because we had a green man running the earth some time ago. They call him the Hulk. Yes. They invent a green man. But today I'm telling you that when God calls us, we must say yes. It's not tomorrow. God called you sometime to extend your life by you coming out and preaching the everlasting fire. He extends your life. Sometimes you might be a young man on the block out here. Yes, you might be a young man out here. And think that you have done so many crime. You've done so many, you've done murder. You're done stealing. You are. You, you encourage your girl to abort the baby, and, and so and so. So you tell yourself that when God calls you, you have too much of crime against the kingdom of heaven. But when God calls you, He already forgave you 
without you knowing it. Yeah. He said, when you open your mouth, confession is vain. And he already knew everything you've done, going to do, and will do before you even 